Good afternoon, everybody. Lancey Peterson here. Today it is Wednesday, August the 2nd, 2017. It is now 12.10 in the afternoon. Uh, we got a hot day in L.A. today. It's going to get a little warmer as well, too. But, um, hey, it is August. It's supposed to be hot. Well, um, I saw a video from another guy who makes um, videos on um, regarding Uber and Lyft. Um, the app, app the appapreneur. Um, it, it takes the word app and entrepreneur. He puts it together. I don't know how he says it, but hey, it's a cool looking name at least. And he basically stated in his video that Uber is coming out with its own branded credit card. Now, this is not the fuel card that you receive. I currently have two fuel cards. I have one for my Uber Select account, and I have one for my Uber Black account. Uber has supplied me with two fuel cards. And personally, I love the fuel card. Um, it helps me control my fuel expense, but also the main reason why I like using the fuel card is because it accurately documents all of my fuel because the fuel is being used to drive for rideshare and as a result it's very easy to produce to produce paperwork stating that hey these are this is my deduction for fuel because this is this is what I use it for I need it um, I run about um, I do $30 a day in gasoline so you're talking about hundred and eighty two hundred and ten dollars a month for gas but I've managed to knock it down to one hundred and eighty dollars a week um, for fuel that's what I spend um, just to keep this car rolling to pick up people so to have a dedicated uber credit card to separate my business expenses from the personal expenses on my card that's big it's better than applying for another separate credit card and all like that now i can say hey if i need a if i need a motel room i can just put it on the uber credit card because now this is a this is a business expense i use this card to pay for the credit card room i don't have to dig up a, a, an expense report for um for, for the american express card to say this is what i used it for um I can put the monthly charge for the car washes. I can put that on the Uber card now. I mean, the, 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 the list is endless on, on, on how much it will benefit me to have that card. But here's the interesting thing. On a business perspective from Uber, it, it's amazing that it took them this long to figure out that they should release a dedicated credit card. Maybe they needed to see the success of the fuel card to say, hey, we should have a a, um, a dedicated um, a dedicated credit card. Now, think of the money that Uber will make by offering drivers and passengers a credit card. Chances are they're going to include a um, an annual fee. That's big money right there. Just just to have the card, they're going to charge you $20 a year to have the card. Some people might not take it, but you know what? A lot of people are going to pay that $20 annual fee. Or it could be $35 a year or even more than that, depending on what your credit score is. Okay? Then there are the finance charges. And you know credit cards like to nickel and dime you for every little thing they can think of. And you better believe you're going to you're going to get charged to use this card but then they could have a very flexible a very rewarding rewards program they could give you they could give you credits for every dollar you spend that gives you credits that can be used towards rides on Uber so now instead of taking an Uber X ride you can step it up and take a Uber Select or even an Uber Black or an Uber SUV and you can apply points towards the cost of that ride. So it feels like you didn't really pay for the ride. I mean, it's, 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 a, it's a great tool that Uber can use not only for driver retention, but also for, um, for, for customer satisfaction as well, too. Um, 
I see a lot of benefits in Uber actually offering this credit card. Um, the card is supposed to be a branded card from um, Barclays in um, London. They're the ones um, working on it. Um, Uber has millions of people they can advertise this card to. They will not have a problem getting this card in people's hands. Um, Lyft is talking about coming out with one as well too. But the, the total package of how it's going to work out, you know, Uber transforming from a transportation services company to a financial services company is interesting because I'm assuming that they're having um, relative success with offering their drivers um, cars. You just go into the office, pay a, a small um, fee, and bam, you have a car you can drive around on Uber. Now they can take credit card payments out of your out of your check as well too. Um, so I would love to hear what you think about Uber and the credit card. If you think this is a good deal, if you think it's a bad deal, um, I personally think it's a great deal um, because it will simply help you manage your business a lot better. Um, by being able to put certain expenses on the credit card because it will be easier to claim that they are business expenses and ultimately write them off and reduce your taxable income. All right. Um, I hope you're having a great day. I will catch you on the next video. Thank you so much for, um, for watching the video, for subscribing to the channel, all that good stuff. Um, have a great day. I forgot one other thing. And this might work really good um, to the benefit of um, Uber, Lyft, and the uh, rideshare driver, especially the drivers who um, operate on um, Lyft Classic and Uber X. General Motors currently has an oversupply of, um, of Bolt EV vehicles. I think what GM needs to do is GM needs to partner with these companies and put those cars in the hands of as many rideshare drivers as they can. And here is the reason why. I drove a Chevy Cruze when I first started with, um, with, with, with Uber. That car cost me $40 a day in gasoline alone, okay? So you take $40 a day my math is bad, so I'm going to do this on my other phone. You multiply that times six days. You're not going to overwork yourself. That's $240 a week in gasoline just to get the car to go. Then you multiply that times four weeks. You're looking at $960 a month just in fuel. And then let's multiply that times 11 months. $10,560 a year that a rideshare driver will not have to pay in fuel if they have an electric vehicle. Now, the Chevy Bolt is rated at 238 miles per charge. To recharge that car, I do not think it's going to cost $40 to recharge that car. I'll find out how much it costs to fully recharge an electric vehicle. But if they're able to say, hey, we can put a rideshare driver in this vehicle, make money from it, keep everybody happy, nice, steady ride, I think it will be beneficial for a lot of people. Plus, the air will get clean as well, too, because we won't be putting out all that carbon dioxide. Um, I'd love to hear your opinion on that as well, too. This is a quick addendum to the video I made regarding um, um, Lyft and Uber offering credit cards. Um, I think they should get have a program where they're also offering um, both EV vehicles. Um, it's an innovative car. Um, GM has a problem. They have excess inventory. They need to get rid of them. Ride share is a perfect way to do it. All right. Um, there you go. Have a good one. Take care.